Okay, guys. Um, I'm just off out to go uh, basically do some nighttime shots at a, um, a field near to where I live. Um, stars are out and the moon is out as well. So I think this could be quite a good time to go do this uh, with the moon possibly kind of like reflecting on uh, this field I'm going to. I think the grass is still a bit tall so it could look really nice. I'm just going to test out the focus stacking on the D850. So hopefully it's good. Okay, so right now I'm out at the field that I'm going to be testing the focus stacking with. It's a bit cold, but the moon is still out, so there's some nice shine on the on the field. And there's some stars as well, which is really good, so that's going to add to the photo. I'll be using my Tamron 24-70 G2 lens, also the Nikon 50mm 1.8. And I will be shooting both wide open, so... I'll be setting the focus stacking to narrow focus so that it basically doesn't move too much which will allow for the focus stacking to have enough images to stop uh, any blur being within in the image. Uh, the reason why I wanted to test this at night is because generally you to get the foreground in you take one shot of the foreground and then you take a shot with the stars in focus. But by doing this you can pretty much get everything in focus including the stars and you just have one solid image. Um, so hopefully it's going to be good. One thing to mention, I've got the interval at zero because I don't want too much movement in the stars. So yeah, let's just get into these, uh, see what the images look like and hopefully they're good. Okay, so this is one of the shots I'll be working with. Obviously in video it's a little hazy and dark. Uh, I've had to really boost up the ISO to see this. Hopefully it looks a little good. So basically what you'll see is pretty much everything will be in focus in the actual image. But I mean, this is kind of cool. There's some stars up in there and uh, I'll just test this out, see how it looks. And then I'll go and test out a few other places as well. Hopefully it's going to be good. But I mean, with the moon being out, there's not so many stars. But otherwise, it's quite nice. You've got the Big Dipper just right overhead, so I think I'll get that in the shot. Okay guys, so we're back at my computer now. I just wanted to show you one of the images that I'll be stacking together. And I just wanted to show you what the difference was between the where the focus was. So the first image of this one is obviously focused on the grass here right in the foreground. The last image you'll see is focused on the stars and the sky. But one thing you really notice with the Tamron 2470 is the focus breathing. Look how different that is it actually it kind of zooms in a lot when you focus to infinity photoshop's gonna have to do a little bit more work to align everything together so hopefully that'll be okay the image was shot at iso 3200 at 24 millimeters 2.8 and 2 seconds so let's just put it into photoshop and align the images so i have all my images here now in photoshop i'll select all of them go to edit and auto align layers just keep it on auto you don't need to press anything really just as it is it's fine press ok okay so now the images are aligned but because of the focus breathing you'll see now the last image that had the stars in focus yeah, has been cut and basically that's to make it fit with the first image so what we have to do now is go to edit again and auto blend layers and here you just want to unstack images and seamless tones and colors you don't need to have the content aware uh, selected so just press ok okay so that's the image done obviously it's not looking completely great it's been cut a bit so i need to crop it and I need to fix the stars because obviously you're getting some of the bokeh balls from when the focus was mainly just on the foreground. So I just have to clean up the stars a bit and then the image is done. So here is the finished image. What I had to do was take the last image which had just the stars in focus and I had to mask that into the stacked image that was created. But as you can see here, it's done an amazing job with putting everything together. There's a little bit of blur in between some of the parts, but there's a lot of detail in there. It's done a really, really good job putting it all together. Good stars and everything in the image. And here, if you compare it to the first image I took, you can actually see how different it is. Because obviously in the first image here, on the right it's only this part that's in focus so it's done 
done a really really good job with putting all of this together what i was trying to test is to see if i could actually do focus stacking at night time because of the complication with having stars in the image and with there being many shots the stars would be moving and really it's done a good job obviously i had to do a little extra work in photoshop but otherwise really nice so i'll definitely be using this again if i'm trying to get everything in focus sometimes it's nice just to have the sky in focus and have things basically washed away in times like this when you want all the detail especially in landscapes and stuff works really well hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously it was a short quick one the images aren't amazing but i just wanted to test out the focus stacking at night time hopefully you guys got something out of it as well and yeah just leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video